Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm at St Michael's Church of England Church. It's actually called St Michael's All Angels and it's in Tetnell, Wolverhampton. And I'm going to be telling you a story of this grave here. As you can see, it's in the shape of a lady. Apparently the story is a story I've always been told by my mum. My, my nan told my mum. So I don't know if it's true or whatever, but apparently it happened in the late 1800s that a, um, an old lady came here, so a nice day like this, and all of a sudden it started raining. She came over here knitting, and all of a sudden it started raining and thundering. So she went under a tree for shelter, and apparently the lightning struck the tree, struck, in, struck a knitting needles, and the next day, the next morning, they found a body under the tree but it didn't have any arms and legs, just a torso of a lady. Nobody knew who she was, so they just buried her. And apparently this is her grave here. As you can see, it's just a torso of a lady. I don't know how true the story is, but it's a story I've always been told. I think there's a couple of other stories about it as well, but that's the story I've always been told. If you walk up here, which adds to the effect, If you walk up here, you can actually see there is a burnt out tree. So scary, huh? There's quite a lot of old graves here. This grave here, you can see it's got a fence around it to stop the, the body thieves. I think it's in the early 1900s, late 1800s. Um, that people used to dig up dead bodies and do experiments on the dead bodies. That's why if you go to really old graveyards like this, some graves have got cages over them, padlocks. It's to, um, to stop the people stealing the bodies after they've just been buried. So I think there's, I think it was brothers in Scotland. I think they, they was well known for body snatching but yeah it's quite a nice place to visit I've always come here as a child because my nan and granddad's buried here but I'll have a look around see if I can tell you more stories about this churchyard this path is pretty freaky because the graves are like higher up than you so you must be more or less the same level as the bodies which is a bit scary weird looking up at the grave especially these two here <laughs> there's another old tree here as you can see there in the distance there's a grave and it's like a green angel I'll tell you the story why it's green It's a very gothic graveyard. And you see I'm way, way below that grave. There's lots of tombs. Here we have the Green Angel, which I think is a family grave. Yeah, I think it's made out of metal. metal it's a metal angel apparently it's green because there was a big fire at the church I think that's all what's left of the original church but there's a huge fire here in February 1950 and the flames turned the angel green so that's why she is a green angel due to fire damage the church was that badly fire damaged that they had to totally rebuild it. You can see that's the original part of the church there. But all the rest of it is like quite pretty new. You can tell by the brickwork. You can see the there's like bullies holes in the wall. That's something to do with Oliver Cromwell against the Church of England. 
Hopefully he came down here. I'm not sure what year, but I can imagine that people was shooting back from the windows up above. And the bullet holes are still in the wall of the old church. I think it's Charles I or Charles II, something to do with the Church of England. But Oliver Cromwell and his round heads came firing at all the churches, and this was one of them. So yeah, it's really a nice place to visit really, especially on a day like this, really nice. If you like old graves and stuff, interesting stories as well. And the statue there, that's the memorial for the people who died in the war, who was born or brought up in the area of Tetnal. My, um, my great uncle's name's on there actually, his name's Leonard Hudson. He, he was an able seaman and he died at sea on board the Westwood Ho, as you can see his name's there. Leonard Hudson. I think it was 1943 he died. He was doing minesweeping duties and something hit him on the head and he went overboard and unfortunately died. He's actually buried in Stafford but he was brought up in the um, in a technical area. And that's my great uncle, Leonard Hudson. And there he is in my, my granddad, Paul Hudson, who is also buried here. Longer my man. And um, the funeral of artist Mark Sprite happened here as well. He was brought up in the area, he actually went to my old school, St. Peter's. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Mark Sprite, but he was an artist, he, he had a show on CBeebies, I can't remember what it's called, but his girlfriend was actually in the show as well, and um, they found his girlfriend dead in a bath, I think she had drugs overdose as well, I think it was both on drugs, both went, both went the wrong way really, and Mark went missing for a couple of days, and unfortunately, they found his body hanging by his belt in Paddington station, the train station. But yeah, he was brought up around here and um, went to my old school. And here's where his funeral took place. I'm not actually sure where he's buried, but his funeral took place here. And he had other stars here. I think Timmy Mallet was here as well. So yeah, it's quite a nice place to visit. In this grave, this used to have a little angel of a little boy, but this grave is the grave of a young boy called Bobby Robert William Carter, who died May the 2nd, 1960. Uh, I know how he died. Well, he was in my mum's class at school. He was um, age 13 years old. Apparently he had chest pains. I sat him down on a chair and he just died on the chair. Apparently he had a hole in his heart. So that's the, um, that's the story of Bobby, or Robert William Carter. And he's buried like, not far from my nan's grave, which is just there. So yeah, that's Bobby, Robert William Carter. Fell asleep May the 2nd, 1960, age 13 years. When I was younger, I used to think that Dracula was buried here. I used to think that this, this was his grave here. <laughs> Pretty scary. So there's a couple of stories for you from the St. Michael's of All Angels, Church in Tetnal. It's a nice place to visit if you like the, the old Gothic graveyards. So there's a nice little, tower, nice little arch here, which welcomes you. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll be doing more videos in the future. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a like. Thank you all for watching. See you soon. Take care, stay safe, stay awesome. Bye.